Hola amigos, que tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with another video about life in Spain, a cost of living video this week, let's say. Now it's been a while since I published my last video, but I'm back in action and uh, I got this uh, brochure in the mail and uh, there's a bottle of wine on special for one euro and 79 cents, which is about one pound 50, just under two dollars US and about two dollars and 80 cents Australian at today's exchange rate and uh, it is a local bottle of wine from a region here just south of Madrid from a place called Bal de Peñas and we're going to go down and see if we can get one of these bottles of wine see if it is any good and see if you can get a good quality bottle of wine for under two euros here in Spain. I don't know whether you can but uh, we have some solutions if it isn't very good. So let's head off to the supermarket now and see if we can get a bottle of this cheap plonk. Let's go. Now I mentioned that this wine comes from an area in Spain called Bal de Peñas and Bal de Peñas is in the autonomous community of Castilla-La Mancha in the province of Ciudad Real and uh, to be honest it hasn't got a reputation as one of the better wine areas in Spain. In fact if you've ever had a meal in Spain, a menú del día, most likely they would have given you a bottle of red wine with a bottle of uh, casera uh, which is like a type of uh, lemonade here to mix with it and uh, it doesn't have the best reputation. It has a reputation of being a place for uh, cheap wine, uh, wines that will give you a headache if you drink too much. Spanish like to call them vinos pelion. But uh, over the years the quality has got better. The white wines from the region are quite good and some of the red wines are not too bad either. Of course not as good in my opinion as wines from uh, the uh, Rioja region, Rivera del Duero or some of the other more famous red wine areas in Spain but uh, I'm optimistic that this wine is going to be not too bad for the price so uh, let's go and see. Okay, so I'm out of the supermarket now. Mission accomplished. Here is the wine. The uh, price was as listed, one euro and 79 cents. So all we have to do now is see if it is good value for money. In fact, for 179, I don't think you can really go wrong. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be the best wine in the world, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. Now, it's a little special or Lidl, however you want to pronounce it. It's a Lidl special here in Spain. It is one of the uh, discount retailers and they have a broad selection of wines at relatively cheap prices compared to some of the other places. And in general, the quality is not too bad. So that's why I'm a little bit optimistic that this is going to be drinkable. And as I said, if not, we can always mix it with something to uh, to uh, get value for buck. So uh, let's go and try. Okay, so we're back home now and it's time for the very important opening of the bottle. And we're going to see if the wine is a good drop for one euro and 79 cents, which is what uh, I paid for it. Now remember that um, wines in Spain, normally for that price, I'm going to be honest, you don't normally get a good bottle of wine for one euro 79 cents. I find that good wines start around the five euro mark. And of course, the more you pay, the better the wine is going to be. So uh, we'll see if we can open this bottle of wine here without too many dramas. Let's see if the cork comes out well. It does, okay. The important test here is gonna be the color and the aroma of the wine. Now, I'm not an expert, but uh, we'll check it out. So there we go. I'll let you decide for yourself uh, what you think of the color there, okay. In my opinion, it looks a little bit thin. It doesn't smell too bad, but of course, uh, as I said, I'm not an expert. And now remember that this is a 2012 Gran Reserva. You can probably see that there, 2012 Gran Reserva. And uh, normally here in Spain, you're gonna get different types of wine. You're gonna get your cosechas. You've got wines that are Robles. You've got ones that are called Crianzas. And you've got this one here, which is a Gran Reserva. Gran Reserve wine. Now that obviously has something to do with the time that it is 
uh, in the barrel. So I'm not sure of the stipulations regarding the, the time frames, but you've got the Criantha, the Reserva, and the Gran Reserva. So this should be not too bad. And remember, for the price, where we can't really ask for too much. Yeah, well, it's not bad. It's a one glass type of wine. You wouldn't want too many glasses of this. Maybe with your lunch, it'd go down fairly well. But what I would do is I would whack a couple of ice blocks in there, okay? And then I would take a bottle of this stuff here, which is called Cassetta. You can see that there. It's a type of lemonade, I think. I'm not really sure exactly what it is or how you can uh, classify it in English. And what I'd do is I would stick that in there. Okay, the cassette is not very cold. And then I would turn this wine into what they call here in Spain a tinto de verano, uh, a summer red wine, which is quite refreshing. The wine is not bad quality, and with a bit of the old cassette in there, you actually get quite a nice drink. So I'll sign this video off now. Questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Chin chin.